We have been reporting here on the opioid crisis in America for more than a year now, and tonight we're back on it with an extraordinary partnership between ABC News and more than 60 of our affiliates to show the scope, the size, the heartbreak across this country. And tonight here, the new front in this war, right here in New York City, what we just discovered at JFK Airport today, fentanyl coming from China. Here's ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, tonight. At JFK Airport today, agents in protective suits, finding the powerful opioid fentanyl in a package from China. Tippy, Arizona. You guys just hang on. We're on another front line in the opioid epidemic. The vehicle is on the move. The DEA and the Tempe police. That's the target right there. Today's target, alleged members of a drug ring with suspected ties to a Mexican cartel. It's time to strike. We got him. We definitely already found a large sum of money. We'll just continue to tear the vehicle down until we see if there's any more dope in here. During our week-long look into the crisis, others grapple with heartbreak, including one family 1,500 miles away in Kentucky. 23-year-old Veronica Jecker, young and full of life, doesn't make it through a weekend break from rehab. She was so good at hiding it. This is the first time we've heard heroin and Veronica's name mentioned. According to the CDC, more than 33,000 Americans died of opioid overdoses in 2015. We're hitting the main guy's house. This is the main target of this whole investigation. Back in Arizona, we're with DEA agents as they continue to take down that suspected ring. Looks like they're getting ready to go in. Agents search the house, then jackpot. We're still searching, but so far we pulled out 15 pounds of heroin. Street value would be what? This is worth over a million bucks. Wow, we've been at this for some time, Pierre, you and me and the entire team here. Let's go back to what you discovered today, because it's not all just coming in over borders. It's actually being flown into this country, you discovered? Not just coming over the southern border. In some cases, the opioids are being shipped in from as far away as China. And David, that fentanyl, so toxic, in some cases, it can cause an overdose if you breathe it or touch it. That's why you saw those hazmat suits. In many cases, far more powerful than the heroin itself. All right, Pierre, thank you. And we should mention that Pierre will have much more one Nation overdosed on a special edition of Nightline. That's later tonight. We hope you'll watch or set your DVR. Pierre, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.